Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask Engie. Today we have some interesting news coming from the folks at Adobe. Folks at Adobe are actually doing the Adobe Max 2021 and they've just made a couple of announcements that I think you guys need to know about. Now if you go over to this page, which I'm going to put a link in the description, it will bring you right here where you can read up on some of the new releases in terms of updates and also beautiful features and collaborations that they have right now. So they've actually gone ahead to purchase Frame.io, which is for future film collaboration. And all the way down, you also notice that there's an update to illustrator there's an update to adobe sensei there's also an update to after effects that deals with multi-frame rendering there's also update to fresco and so much more so for those who like to also read more about this link to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out meanwhile the cause of this video is because there is a beautiful announcement that the folks at adobe have just made that deals with the extension of adobe photoshop and also illustrator to the web so for those who like to design when they're on the road without using their laptops probably want to do a quick design on your mobile device in terms of an android device or on your ipad this is definitely something that you can take advantage of it makes sense to see that adobe is moving towards this direction at the same time there is a huge sense of collaboration that they're trying to wield or simply weave into this now this is also something that you can also test if you're willing to join the private beta which you can do by simply clicking on private beta and this will bring you right here where you can join the private beta and you'll be notified once you are eligible for it meanwhile if you like to read more about the new photoshop that is here and also the beta features that are coming with it there is also another link which i'm going to put in the description that can bring you right here where you can read upon all of these things there is also a beautiful read up that you can check out for illustrator and for the most part we already know that this is definitely not going to be something free which to the yeah, i mean it's definitely going to be surprising if this comes out and it's free but i do think that this will be taking advantage of adobe creative cloud so you definitely would need an adobe creative cloud to actually have access to both photoshop and illustrator and that is where this video actually comes in now before we move further and talk about several things that you might be using as alternatives to these tools i'd like to say clearly that this video is not sponsored by any of these tools i'll be talking about i'm only offering alternatives that you guys might be needing especially for those who like to have access to tools that can get them their illustrative work and also their photoshop sort of work on the go and they would like to do these things on the web of course we've already seen that there are a couple of free tools that you can take advantage of from svg edit to inkscape to affinity designer there's gimp there's open office draw there's sheriff design and there's even way more like krita and all that these are desktop based apps which you can actually download on your desktop and use them but what if you like to work on the go probably you want to work on your tablet and you're traveling maybe a longer distance and you just have that quick inspiration you want to do this is where these alternatives will come in handy the very first alternative which we're going to take a look at that you can work with directly on the web is vector so vector is a free vector design tool that you can work with on the web and is super easy to actually get started with so once you come over to this page you actually don't need to register for this you can just simply hit the try now and you can start trying this for free it works in this sense that right here you have your pages where you can find tons of pages that you can work with you can create these pages however you want increase decrease your width and height and then you have your layers so depending on the kind of things you would like to do you can do them your shapes exist here you have your pen tool and you can create stuff by simply using your pen tool so we can also make that nice sweet base here that you've always wanted to do and we can go in and connect that right about there for those that would like to work with things like the pencil tool there's also a pencil tool that you can work with and for sure there is also a text tool that you can use to create that sweet sweet text that you've always wanted to do now it's also worth mentioning that within the layers all the things are saved as individual layers which means you can edit their properties from here deal with the dimensions and you can do some very cool stuff with the sets of commands that exist if you like to see some more shapes you can click on this button which opens up the more shape tools and you can have access to all the shapes that exist here and you can work with them so far so good this is a cool tool that you can get started with and do the very basic stuff that you might want to do once you're moving but this is just the beginning because things actually start getting crazy from here as we'll be taking a look at a second tool that you may want to check out now this tool is known as the gravit designer gravit designer is a paid tool you can also have it for free which makes sense now if you want to download this you can actually go ahead and download this and use it for a trial period but just like what you have with vector you don't need to have any account with this you can just simply hit the start now and it will launch you right here now once you come over to a page like this it just simply starts making sense like there is literally nothing you want to do in terms of illustrating your arts that you cannot i would just simply say that whatever you want to do you can do them here so you can also create pages from here you can add more pages 
You can create layers from here. You can actually go over to your libraries and fetch some things from your libraries. Go over to your symbols, fetch some things from the symbols. All your page properties exist here, your document properties. You can make some comments if you're collaborating with people. And for the most part, if you also have an account, you can have access to that account from here. If you're looking for tools, all the tools you need, they exist right here. From your slicer to lasso, your pointer selection, your shapes exist here, your pen exists here, which is very cool. And your freehand exists here. The only problem I think lots of you guys might have is the fact that this is unnecessarily too bright. For you to actually get this out let's say you don't like how bright this is if you go over to it go over to settings and go all the way down here you can switch this to dark team which I would also prefer that you should do and save your eyeballs okay save your eyeballs now once you do this you can see that you know this makes more sense you can create as much shapes as you want now once you create something like this you can go in and have it selected and then you can do or play with some of the effects they have a couple of cool effects here which you can use to your advantage and you can also choose to play with the color so you have that there you can make some tweaks depending on what you want to do all these bad boys are here for you if you want to play with the borders you can see the border effect so if you click on the plus sign you can play with the border effect depending on what you want to do your appearances are here you can also have the alignments here just basically what you always wanted to do with illustrator you have it here so graphic designer super cool makes a lot of sense I will suggest you go try it out. Moving forward, we have this bad boy known as Pixlr. And uh, Pixlr actually happens to have two types of editors. The very first one is an advanced photo editor, which you can actually take advantage of. And then we have the easy graphic design one. So if we go over to the easy graphic design one, which is known as the Pixar X editor, you can do some stuff as well. So you can also play with different kinds of things. If you like to add text, you can see some beautiful text. This just makes your design workflow super easy. That is just one of the beautiful things with this one. And you can also throw in an image. If you already have one, you can drag that in. You can use a URL to import one, click on stock to search for some nice stock stuff I can click on this one and let's load this bad boy in from 123RF and add to the current you know uh, design that we're doing and you have that so if we also like to move this down a hierarchy we can also move this down the hierarchy and you can see we have all those things here if you select the image which you're working with you can also go in and make some very tiny tweaks so you click and then from here you can go in and drop the transparency increase the transparency play with the blending change the name lock this hide this everything you need to easily make a quick poster a quick design a quick illustration this bad boy has it all right this is also another cool tool that i will suggest that you proceed to check out now there is also the photo version now the photo version also makes a lot of sense and you can also easily make cool art with this one this comes with a combination of what you can do with illustrator and photoshop all combined because you have lots of tools that you may want to explore all the things all right they are crazy tools now it's actually very interesting and impressive to see that these are things that you can do on the web and it just makes sense so for example if we go in and drag an image and drop this image right here and click add to this and uh let's just throw in this image here we can start tweaking this image how we want so i can click click and drag and i would like you guys to also see we can position this here you have all of these other tools that you can work with if you like to you know put this in a frame some gradient some field tool you want to do some blurring you want to do some stamping in terms of cloning or stamp cloning you can also use the magic wand and this is just nice everything you want to do exists here very photoshop like you can see all of your histories from here you have your adjustments all the way here your filters are here every single thing you want the best part you don't even need any form of registration to work with this once you're done click on file export this save this import new images if you want by simply clicking and dragging and you have everything you need to make that next beautiful design that you've always wanted and you can do all of these things on the go and that actually makes more sense and we also have two more cool ones which one of them is known as catenize but now it is called the color each i think now primarily this is supposed to be a filter based tool that you can just throw in filters you can actually see some of them here and throw in filters and tweak some things but they've revamped this entire thing and it looks even way cooler than you think let's get that image one more time if you click on upload click drag and drop this image right here and it loads all right so it loads in 
and you can start doing all this stuff. You want to enhance this, increase the exposure, reduce the exposure, play with whatever you want. Any of the things that you want to do, you can do them. You want to make some drawings, you want to play with some text, you want to add some text in, you want to make some mask, anything you want, you can do this. These are easy tools that you have no need to make registration for, make payments for. You can simply just open your web browser on any device and start making your edits on the fly. And I forgot to mention that you can also find your layers from here and your layer properties exist here. And for sure, if you'd like to create an account to these folks, you can come here, sign in and create an account. So very cool stuff, your overlays, your filters, very basic cool stuff that you might be needing depending on what you would like to do with these tools. So all these tools are here and you can take advantage of them. Now, finally, we have one known as Photo P. So all of these that we've just mentioned are super cool alternatives to Illustrator and Photoshop that you can get on the web. And the reason why we're talking about this is most of you guys may want this web sort of tools, but you don't want to make a payment for them. And all of this are alternatives that you can use. And right here we have the final one known as Photo P. So Photo P is by far the most Photoshop replica that you can ever get on the web. Very Photoshop centric like, has every single thing that you need to actually make that edit for your poster, your design, all that stuff, you have it. And once you're done, you can go over to file. You can export these as a PNG, a JPEG, and you can even export these as more other kind of files that you want. So if you want to save, you save as PSDs or PSBs, and you can also choose to do anything that you want to do right here. So it is very Photoshop-like. Actually, it's everything you can get in Photoshop in terms of getting your basic Photoshop tools. You get to find all of them here. There is no 3D support for this. There's content aware, like you can have with other tools as well. So there's also the same content aware skill, which you can get from this. And these are more like the tools which are alternative to this bad boy that will be coming soon. So for those who like to take a look at all of this that we've just mentioned, link to this is going to be in the description. And by the way, if you're wondering what this is, it's a course which I'm going to put link in the description so you can check out as well. And yes, you may want to go through, check out all this, play with these tools, tell me what you think about them. And of course, if there's any tool that you know that you can use to make some nice illustration and also some nice photo editing on the web, you might want to link it in the comment section as well so every other person can benefit from this. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.